good early morning. We're so glad you're here. We did the walk. So if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you do, because today is the beginning of travel to Walt Disney World, then I hope you come back every day. I'm on something I wasn't sure how I was going to get done. I'm on a 20 mile long run. It is 33 degrees out. I got, I'm just under eight and a half miles away. I'm like near, I already passed Soldier Field or I'm passing, I don't know, I can't even think right now because pretty much the entire eight miles I was running, I drank too much water this morning and I had to find a port potty. I'm gonna eat this oatmeal bar, drink some water, and I'm just about a mile and a half away from like my turnaround point because I like to run out and back once rather than loops. So almost at 10 miles here, feeling good. Let's go to Disney World today. How about? Definitely the furthest south I've run on a training run, like a long run. I usually will like, I've gone nine miles south, which is like right by McCormick Place right there. But I'm 10 miles south, and of course I was looking for bathrooms the whole time, struggling, and there's like seven right here. Um, but yeah, I'm not too far from IIT. Like my one of the numerous colleges I went to in my undergrad. This looks like a 55, right by the lake still. I think the whole lake from running fast is actually like 17 miles or something. So that's why it's really good to run on, but I'm cold, but I feel good. But yeah, I gotta have to go all the way back on the other side of that skyline. 10 miles in, 10 to go. Here's the skyline from the north side. Made it back in the what I would call like my home turf. This is what I, as long as I'm going more than a 5K, like I end up on this cement lake front. So over 17 miles done, less than a 5K left. Something I would say I didn't anticipate was, uh, I didn't realize I must have been running with wind, like a tailwind going south. And there was enough blocking it going north until I got to like Navy Pier. So that's why I, I might be talking weird because like literally my jaw's frozen ever since Navy Pier right there. I've basically been running into wind. And it's not like affecting like, it's not making the run more difficult. Like it's not like it's fast. It's just very cold now. Feeling good. Happy that I got, I'm getting all 20 done. Sarah and I were talking before I went out and I almost didn't run and then I almost went out for like only a four or a six miler. So I'm glad I came out for the full 20, especially because I am, wouldn't be surprised if I skip a run, one, one or two runs this week in Disney. So let's, let's finish this thing. And good morning from home. We have had a full morning of playing and me like doing little bits of packing here and there, little bits of tidying here and there. It doesn't, like we're in that stage where it's like, it feels chaotic right now, but we're very close to being done and ready to go. Um, the boys have haircuts at one, which is an hour and a half. I just realized that we made the haircuts during what would be Jamesy's nap time. <laughs> well, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but yeah, that's close. And then we're gonna we're gonna get out of here. We got winter lights going up in our neighborhood. Decided to take Teddy's nap on the go to do some errands. First off, Walgreens, and then Jewel. everybody in their beautiful winter coats and scarves. I love it. Also, carrier nap is a success. We are at our second stop, which is Jewel. 
Jamesy loves croissants and they are like that price per croissant at Disney. So we're gonna bring croissants in our luggage. Is that weird? Brother. Okay, Jimsy. Haircut reveal. Let me see this haircut. Jimsy, look at me. Oh, him's fresh. It looks so cute. He looks so old whenever he gets his haircut. Um, all right, this is a big thing. Checked off the list. Now Peter is getting his haircut, and we are gonna run into Trader Joe's, which is right here on Diversity. Um, to grab a few snacks for my cousin who is going to be dog sitting for us. We got her some high noon. We're giving her some snacks. She lives in our neighborhood, but um, she also works from home. So we're like, if you want to hang out with Eve, like whatever basically she wants to do, she can do. She can straight up live at our apartment while, um, while we're gone if she wants to. So yeah, um, just getting a couple more things for her to say thank you for watching Eve. Um, and then home to finish packing. And then we can finally go. Every Everything else that we have to get done is like at home. What? Are you serious? Are you gonna drive us? Look at this place right here. We'll have to try it. It's plant-based empanadas. What are you called? Fonz? Round one at an attempt at Trader Joe's. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Walked in, Teddy was screaming. And I was holding James. He's gonna walk. The cart can only fit the car seat. Round two, I'm gonna try Teddy in the carrier. So I'll let you know how it goes after Teddy has a little, a little snack. I realized, I realized like he could have been fine going in without eating, but with how much back and forth there's been in the past two hours, we can all kind of reset. And then Jamesy can explore, get some time. He's in really good spirits for not taking a nap. Hopefully he will snooze on our way to the south side. feel fresh and alive again. I mean, alive is a loose term after running those 20 miles, but I do feel good getting a good long run in, getting a fresh haircut. Um, I was sad at first because our like hairstyles that we went there for, like request and book, I sat down and she was like, oh, I got bad news. I thought she was quitting or leaving or moving. She is quitting and she is leaving, but she is moving just to a different salon. So she kind of like slid me her information at the end when I went to go pay and be like, here's where I start on the 21st. So we'll be able to follow her to the uh, next location she goes to because I think she does a good job. And James, me, I think she handles James well because it's kind of a daunting task to cut a little kid's hair. I mean, James is for the most part really good about getting his hair cut, but he was fussing more today. And um, she had like a delicate but stern way of cutting his hair still. About, with keeping him safe and making sure it's cut well and good looking and everything. So I think we're happy. I'm not walking over to Trader Joe's where Sarah is with the kids. Teddy's got the stickers. Look who found us. <laughs> that was our fastest trip to Trader Joe's ever. And he has succumbed. All right, James woke up from his nap. Um, it worked out with the kids both falling asleep and napping because we weren't as ready as we were like, had a soft time of like leaving at four. It's five right now and we're not ready to go yet. Okay, it's a little before five, but we're looking good and we really don't have any plans now other than like getting the hotel and editing a vlog and sleeping a few hours. <laughs> um, Teddy's still snoozing. We just need to kind of get the car loaded, clean up our room a little bit, and the kids' room, now that 
James is sleeping and cleaning up the boys' room. And then kind of just like it's the last bit of loose ends we're going to sweep and steam up really quick the apartment um, before we get going to the suburbs and we have to grab a few things from the suburbs and meet our cousin to bring us to our hotel. So Later than we expected, but that's all right because we're very prepared for vacation. Two hours later. Teddy says, let's go to Disney World. We're finally ready. It is 10 to 7. And even though something's up. Literally as we're leaving our apartment, it's like full on snowing. That's not even flurry, that is straight snow. So I said, let's get out of here. James just living the hotel life, eating these Trader Joe's chips. Have you ever had these? No. I know you haven't. This is your first time. Thanksgiving stuffing. Just reliving my old hotel days. Gotta bring the bell car back because apparently they only have two in this entire hotel. Even though we're leaving in five hours. Yeah, we're leaving in five hours. Five and a half hours. No, six. We're getting up in five and a half. And the Polar Express is on TNT. It was j it just finished, and it's on again. I am so happy right now. I could burst. Shh, he's sleeping. <laughs> you patting? <gasps> what are you doing, Teddy? You got little red cheekies. That's what happens in the dry cold to us, to us sensitive folk. And today at Trader Joe's, I got this um, sparkling apple cider vinegar beverage. I love them. This is a flavor I've never seen before. Elderberry pomegranate is so, so me. It's delicious. I got Blue Moon waiting at the bar for our food to be ready to be boxed up to bring up to the room. Vacation has begun. Right, I didn't get to show the lobby too much because there was like a bunch of kids having fun and I just didn't want to disturb them. But there's like a little computer area and then a breakfast area because they have breakfast, but we'll be leaving too early for that. Right, this is James's, which will also be mine and Sarah's because I don't think he'll eat all of it. Did you guys finish the chips? No. Okay, good, because I really want some of those. So good. Ooh, that, look, at, look at the box to pizza ratio. That's comical. Are you kidding me? We got some waters for us. Whoa, we got some spillage. This is also the sofa bed. I don't think we've given, have you given a tour? That's my burger, double burger, Parmesan fries. Sarah's got the turkey pesto, Parmesan fries. He's just sitting up. When did that, I leave for 45 minutes to get food. It was like 25. But like, he's pretty sturdy. Yeah. Got the oh, James one. found his eggs. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna do a room tour. So you come into the room, to the left there's the bathroom. So we are in a accessible room. So there's the shower, it's like just no, there's no, there's no threshold there. Vanity, blue, sofa bed. So this, imagine this away with that here. That's where James will be sleeping. Then we've got a window, TV, desk. This is where Sarah's gonna, why is the phone off? Oh, because James was making business calls. Oh, he was making some business calls? So we got a desk, coffee station, we got things charging for the, for the plane and everything, and then the king bed. We're gonna get a, 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 a cot or a crib brought up for Teddy, and then uh, we'll be good. 
Our flight is at 5.30. Yeah, so we're, we have a wake-up call at 2.30. Gonna get on the 3 a.m. shuttle because we're actually in. So for anybody who knows the Chicagoland area, that's Cicero over there, which like, where we're gonna get dropped off for the airport is like literally a quarter of a mile north. You can actually, oh, you can see the skyline from here because we're on the fourth floor. Um, but there's like a Marriott, a Marriott, a Doubletree, a Residence Inn. God. All in this area, so there's a shuttle that stops at each of these spots every 20 minutes and brings you to the airport. It was cheaper for us to book this and take the shuttle the night before than it would have been to take any kind of fancy Uber or a taxi that would have allowed the kids seats. Or to fly tonight and like... Or to fly tonight. At another time. But and we don't want to bug a family member or a friend to drive us at 3 in the morning, so I was like... It's actually a mixture of like the cheapest, the cheaper, and more convenient route to book this Hyatt place the night before to use the shuttle, and then have Sarah's cousin Matt. He drove us here from the Sakars, where our car will sit until Grant's gonna pick us up in it when we return, because they we return a couple days after them. Can we manja? This Parmesan fries smell delicious. Hello? Are you ready to go to Disney World? Ready to get three hours of sleep? Oh gosh. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Wish us luck tonight. Yes, oh my gosh, yes. This is, honestly, our kids thrive on silly business. <laughs> good night. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.